Thanks, Jenny. And uh, thanks, Sequent, for the opportunity to stand here in front of you. Uh, it's, it's a really humbling experience to be in front of such a crowd. I'm going to change the conversation a little bit from what we've been talking about so far. And we're going to really kind of focus it in on data and even more specifically, geoscientific data, drill hole data, sample data, that sort of stuff. Uh, I come to you today as a solution provider. So we sell a product, and our product really is laser focused around that domain of managing drill hole and sample data. So I'm going to be talking to you today about my product, but I'm going to be doing it in a way that I want to kind of present some ideas and some approaches that you could take and how we can facilitate that, right? So I want us to think about using MX Deposit uh, and merging it with this idea of these agile methods, which in the software space, it's all about iterative loops. Uh, we saw in an earlier slide, I think a reference was adaptive management. So it's just managing to change or, or adapting to change and stuff like that. So why are we even here? And why did we even build a product to solve a problem? So in 2017, uh, Geosoft did a survey. And one of the key findings from that survey was that 83% of respondents ranked data management as you know, one of those critical or top five issues. So this is the industry that's basically telling us that this is important. That you know, they've got problems here and that they need solutions. So then this is a perfect kind of uh, setting the, the landscape for us as solution providers to be able to come in. Uh, I think every year Ernst & Young runs this survey on just risks facing the mining industry. And uh, there's a lot that we could pick out here to probably cover the entire day. But there's some here that I think are especially relevant to where I want to focus the conversation. And it's stuff like digital effectiveness, you know, the cyber uh, security, cyber threats, uh, future of workforce, uh, disruption, stuff like that, right? So these are themes that, to me, uh, resonate with what I'm trying to show you and what we're trying to do as a solution provider. Uh, and again, it's just industry reaffirming and kind of validating what we're thinking. So when I talk about data risk, what am I really talking about here? And the key is more about the potential loss. So this, uh, this idea of potential loss due to poor data governance, which is all around uh, data quality throughout the life cycle of the data. Uh, data mismanagement, so this is just around all the processes for acquiring data, validating it, storing it, protecting it, uh, and disseminating it across its users. And then data security. So difficulties in protecting your data um, and being prepared for data breaches, cyber threats, stuff like that. And I think that that's an important point that's very relevant to all of us. Um, data breaches, particularly, uh, are an important thing to be thinking about because they're likely the most visible. These are the ones that are going to be uh, in the headlines, and you know, those names are always going to be remembered as to who was impacted. Uh, and it's not just limited to the big companies. I think there was a, a stat I read that talked about 70% of uh, uh, ransomware attacks were actually on smaller businesses, not the big companies. And so data risk management is then talking about the processes uh, around acquiring, storing, transforming, using the data from you know, its creation all the way through to its, uh, you know, its life cycle of the data. And just uh, a quick thing about what is this idea of agile? Uh, it kind of steals from the, the software development space, again, where it's a very iterative cycle. Um, we, we really focus on teams. We really focus on collaboration. We really focus on value and delivering value. And I, you know, as I work with different customers and as people tell me about the problems that they have and how we can solve them, 
I've always found this kind of merge that we can take those, I, those concepts that we use in the software development space and uh, how we can apply them and how we can show you how you can apply them. And it's really just this ability to adapt to change. So now I'm just going to step us through a few of these concepts and really how we can facilitate that. And I say we as a solution provider, specifically our product, which is called MX Deposit. So one very important thing in this agile space is really just making sure that you include all the stakeholders. So this is everybody that's in any way responsible for the outcome of a project. So let's think about a drilling campaign, right? So we just wanna make sure that when we're thinking about our logging process and our data management process, we want to incorporate everybody from the team. This is from the loggers through to the project geos, through to the resource geos that are going to be, you know, modeling and, and using that data, and all the other vendors around that as well. So with our product, we've really enabled this and, and uh, enabled the scenario that you can incorporate all these different users. So with different roles and different types of subscriptions that you can get, you know, you can really bring everybody together. Uh, and what it does is it encourages feedback with people um, and just gets everybody working on the same page and working towards the same goal. You know, I often tell our customers to, to get me in touch with your other vendors. Hook me up with your lab. Let's make sure that we're talking the same language, that we're integrating data back and forth. You know, let's talk with the systems that are using data that's coming out of deposit. So these are the things that I can offer you as a solution provider. Um, the team is a really critical part here. And this ability to collaborate is an important piece as well. We've seen some of these features within uh, the central application, and we've got ours as well. So, you know, ours really more focused around uh, drilling, uh, logging programs, and stuff like that. But we've got tools that really enable people to communicate together and share ideas and bridge that gap between senior resources and junior resources, right? So we have tools that let all these users that we've included, because we got all of our loggers on the system, we got all of our uh, consultants on the system, we got our management on the system, so now that we have everybody together, now we can get them talking to each other. We can have a forum for sharing ideas, uh, all in a way that's secure, it's transparent, it's available, uh, it's auditable, all these things. So this is what we're able to offer. Um, something that's important in this agile space is this idea of testing our assumptions. And you know, when we, when we start something, we, we think it's going to work a certain way, or we, we assume that something's going to work a certain way. And it's important that we, we keep checking that. Now, when this comes to something relevant to a drilling program, I mean, what does this really mean? And how can we facilitate it? Uh, well, I guess at a fundamental level, what we can really offer is the speed at which you can really get to your data. So, you know, our, our system, we've got field data capture tools. Uh, the, the data lives in, a, in an accessible, you know, cloud web environment. So what that means is that we're able to connect the people in the field who are capturing the data in a consistent way to the people that are using the data and starting to model it and stuff like that. So the speed at which you can now look at that data and kind of look at that overall process is something that we can really offer you that some of the other systems out there just really can't based on the nature of the on-premise or whatever it might be. Um, I think it's important too to test assumptions, uh, you know, with lab, geochemical data especially, samples, right? Um, how is our sampling program going? Are we, how is the lab performance going? Accuracy, precision, contamination. So we've got tools to be able to really focus in on some of these specific questions. Uh, even getting to the point of how is our quality control program working? Are we getting control samples inserted into the sequence at the appropriate frequency? Are we, you know, covering, um, 
just overall percentage of, of quality control. Are we putting control samples into every uh, you know, fusion batch and instrument batch that the, that the lab is running? And how do we know that? Well, using tools like MX Deposit, we can provide that information and provide that forum for bringing all this data in and ultimately giving you the ability to, to just validate these assumptions um, that you started your programs and projects with. And with those, with that validation, and it's important to also in, include just general feedback, uh, which could be collected using our collaboration tools, right? So, but using feedback, using the, the systems to be able to audit uh, and test those assumptions, it's really important to just be able to change quickly. So that as we learn something, and as we might see that something's not working the way that we thought it was going to work, or we thought that the loggers were going to capture the data a certain way, which was just going to flow through to the modelers, and what does that whole process look like? Should we change how we log the data? Or should we optimize the logging part and just figure out how to migrate and transform the data to then flow through to the modelers. Um, so kind of specifically what we can facilitate here in this ability to change quickly is that using a system like ours, which has been completely simplified, so one of the, one of the fundamental approaches that we uh, live is that we believe that uh, geos should be the administrators of the system and not have to be database people, right? We want you to be able to work within your domain and apply your experience and knowledge, not have to write uh, you know, code or database scripts or anything like that. So we've provided the tools to just enable that and facilitate that you know, a, a geologist can just focus on what they need to do their job they can course correct when it's appropriate, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy process, right? It's a, it's a simple process for them to be able to do that. Um, we can share these changes with the team. The software's got mechanisms built into it to just make sure that everybody's working off of the same changes that have been made. So, you know, it's, it's taking that ability for you to, to manage and maintain your own environment, but doing it in a way that um, you know, has been, has been corrected based on feedback, based off testing those assumptions. On the security front, you know, it's, it's really important that we are protecting or that you are protecting your investment. So there's a, a bunch of questions to think about here. Uh, who's accessing the data? Uh, who's been interacting with the data? Who's been working on it? Who's Who's logged data? Who's made changes to someone else's log? What decisions were made when uh, a batch of samples came back from the lab and we saw some failures? What happened along the way? Um, is our data always available to us when we need it? So this can be either we want to start seeing preliminary drilling uh, data as it's coming in, or this is just taking an entire field sampling program data set and start, you know, analyzing and interpreting it? Is it always available to you when you need to work with it? And is it in a state that you're ready to go? Um, these are the things that, again, we can offer. Is it secure? So have you locked down uh, from a, a, an IT perspective how the data stored, who's got access to the, the back end side of things? You know, these are things that if you're working with your own drill hole database, whether that's Excel files or an access database, or even some of the other solution providers out there, um, how secure is it really? These are the things that we think about because that's part of the service that I'm offering you is the ability for you to trust in us that we've gone above and beyond to make sure that things are secure. And we've done that by getting things vetted by third parties. And we're, we're going through certification programs and you know, making sure that our controls and our policies are in line with ISO you know, 
standards. And this idea of continuity is a big one as well. So you can't have certain individuals within the organization with all the knowledge in their head, because then what happens when they leave? So by using an off-the-shelf product like ours, and the services and the tools and the resources around that, it just helps you when you start ramping up resources, when key resources might rotate in and out. Uh, it just maintains continuity for you as an organization. So I think what's ultimately important is that we need to find that balance. You need to find that balance. And there's definitely different ends of the spectrum here. I'm not proposing that we let everybody kind of run wild and do what they want to do and then we just figure it out later. I don't think that's a smart way to do it and not a whole lot's going to get done and we're going to spend too much time figuring out the problems. But I also would propose that if we spend too much time thinking about all these different ideas of how we're logging and how we're dealing with the data, then you might get stuck in this state of thinking about it too much and maybe not a whole lot gets done. So it's an interesting exercise to maybe look at your own organization and kind of figure out where are you within this uh, scale, right? Uh, it's, this is definitely something that we could help you with as somebody coming in who just deals with data, deals with process. Uh, we can help you kind of audit your own uh, organization and your own team to, to see where you are along the spectrum. So how can we get here? Um, so a key takeaway is that data, manage, data risk management, data management is more important than ever. And this isn't just me saying this, this is the industry telling us this, right? Um, I think it's important, and what I'm trying to present to you here is this uh, process, this agile mentality or methodology that is uh, adaptable to change, because that's an important thing in today's landscape. Uh, and sometimes what works well for one project might not work well for the other one. So using a system like ours, it's really easy to just uh, kind of work in this domain of having different projects operating in different, uh, different ways. And it really is going to be relevant to what's working for one uh, and what's kind of optimized for that project. And you can have other projects, other people uh, working in different ways, and it all just depends on what works for any one of those. And a really important part is just this continuous improvement. So always thinking about what's going well with the data flow, the acquisition, the storage, the sharing. Uh, what isn't going well? Are our vendors giving us problems? Are we getting data in the right formats that we're expecting? How is the data out into downstream systems going? And then what can we do to change? And how can we just apply this loop on a frequent and an iterative basis? So just to re reiterate what I was trying to do here today, and you guys can maybe tell me if I was successful, by just giving you some, uh, a practical application of these agile methods using the team and iterative and being adaptable to change. And I've hopefully given you an idea of how you could do that using a system like ours without being too salesy. I didn't want that, this to be that forum. Um, but that being said, I will be uh, sitting within the, the, the various zones uh, during lunch and at the end of the day as well. And I'll be here for the rest of the day. So if anybody does have any questions about anything that I've talked about or you know, any ideas that you want to talk through, now you know what I look like. So thank you very much, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day.